Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today on another episode of Toys and Coffee, we're just gonna sit and have some coffee. We're gonna talk about some toys, some news, some weekly pickups. So let's get into it. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collector. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. How's everybody doing today? Do you have coffee? I got some coffee right here in my, my, uh, my Mandalorian mug. I'm already on my second mug of coffee today. It's been one of those type of Wednesdays already. So, um, how's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? Everybody doing well? Is your mental health good? Your physical health good? Are you, um, I struggle with my mental health. And so, um, you know, take medicine. I try to get outside, get some sun, get some fresh air. I, I work from home, so I, uh, I try to do that several times a day. Um, so it's kind of, uh, it's been one of those mornings where I'm just like, I need to get out, get some sunlight, get some air. I think I may go on a toy run uh, later today. There's something I'm looking for. I need to try to see if one of my local um, Walmarts has it. So um, why don't we start off with um, some weekly pickups. Um, <clears throat> had some stuff come in from Big Bad Toy Store. Had two shipments come in from Big Bad Toy Store um, at the end of last week. Um, this is everything that was in that box. And then my second package, I don't want to spoil uh, what was in there because um, that review will be coming up uh, this Friday. So you'll want to stay tuned uh, for that uh, so you can see what was in the biggest box that I think I've ever gotten from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. It wasn't a lot, it was just a really big item. A little teaser for you guys. May or may not be from an upcoming uh, movie that we'll be seeing pretty soon. So starting off with my pickups now, uh, I did get in some Black Series figures. One of my Black Series figures will be uh, a secret. It's not going to be in this stack because I already um, did my review for him. And he will be up tomorrow to celebrate May the 4th because today is May the 3rd. And tomorrow is uh, a religious holiday for all of you uh, Star Wars celebration uh, people. If you if you observe the, the religious holiday of May the 4th, then um, that'll be going up tomorrow. But I did get um, uh, Cassian Andor. Now, I believe this is the same one that came with the two pack that came with uh, his little droid. Um, so I'm really excited to get this. I haven't had a new uh, Andor figure in quite a while. So I'm excited to get that cracked open. And also I'm um, excited to open this guy, which is the new, this is probably like the third Cal Kestis figure I think that's come out. Um, and I have the other two. So we'll be digging them out of the bin to, uh, to help review this guy. Um, is anybody playing uh, Jedi um, Survivor? Uh, I haven't picked it up yet. I'm waiting to this weekend. I'm probably going to pick it up this weekend. I see that it's already on sale in a lot of places. Uh, it's already like $10 off on physical copies. Uh, at like Amazon, <clears throat> I think uh, if you get a physical copy from Target, you get a $10 gift card. I don't know if you buy the game digitally from Target if you still get a $10 gift card. But um, I buy all my games digitally. So um, unless they go on sale. But I'm sort of in a dilemma. Maybe you guys can help me out here. Uh, I mean, this is tangentially um, toy related since we're talking about Cal Kestis. But uh, uh, I want to play Jedi Survivor. Uh, I love the first game, Fallen Order. I thought it was fantastic. And I want to play this game. But the problem is, is we're already in May. And uh, the new Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom, comes out and like May 12th, right? Like in like nine days, this game comes out. And I know that that game is huge and it's gonna dominate. I'm spending hundreds of hours in that game. It's gonna dominate the rest of my year. So I'm trying to figure out, do I go ahead and get um, Jedi Survivor now, play through it, and then when I beat it, because it's only about 30 to 40 hours, and then when I beat it, then move on to uh, Tears of the Kingdom, even even if I uh, don't get it on the 12th, or, or do I wait? go ahead and play Tears of the Kingdom, spend hundreds of hours, and then maybe later this year, pick up Jedi Survivor, like when it's on sale or something. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm kind of in a dilemma and I, um, I need help. You guys let me know down in the uh, comments down below what you would do uh, in, this, uh, in this instance. Are you picking up Jedi Survivor? Have you already picked it up? Do you love it? Um, and then um, are you getting Tears of the Kingdom? 
Uh, ugh. Decisions, decisions. Back to the figures. I have another G.I. Joe. Picked up uh, Cover Girl. Uh, can't wait to um, to get her. Now, I, I we just did a review of uh, Falcon, which you can see uh, up here. Uh, so not too long ago. And then I did just get the new Outback. Um, got him in. Picked him up at my local uh, GameStop. Outback's one of my favorite figures. So I can't wait to get him opened up and mess around with him. And then I've got some Mythic Legions. Uh, these don't come out uh, all that often. When they do, it's a big event. I love Mythic Legions, one of my favorite toy lines. I used to have like the first, all of like the first three waves, then I sold them all. I haven't, didn't get back into them until last year when I bought the um, uh, the super popular uh, Headless Horseman. Got that, and then that kind of snowballed into me picking up a bunch of them on uh, eBay. But I did just get this guy, Dubon. I uh, got him from Big Bad Toy Store. He uh, is this awesome looking like ranger um, guy with a cloak and an eagle. And he has uh, all kinds of really cool stuff. And then my first female Mystic Legion, uh, Lady Averona, picked her up. Uh, so that's really cool. And then I also got the um, six pack of heads. Uh, and so I really can't wait to like get in and like dive into these uh, figures uh, and... Uh, do some head swaps with some of the other characters that I have and see how it works. And I was really nervous about this head, uh, this female head. I was like, the whole time I had this pre-ordered, I'm like, I don't have any female uh, Mythic Legions figures, but she came in at the same time as Lady Averona, so now I do. And so that works out. Um, let's see. Also, we had a, uh, we have a, a local Walmart that's getting a big, I think we have like, we have four, four Walmarts in our town. And one of them is going through a massive, um, redesign and reorganization they're having like a like a grand reopening uh, in June and so um, uh, they pretty much wiped out their toy section and they clearanced off a bunch of stuff uh, and um, they've been restocking and whenever that happens sometimes you get restocks from a year ago or you know you may get you may order a whole case of product and get a whole bunch of stuff that was like really popular a while back and that kind of is the case so I, i've been on like this power rangers kick if you guys have been following me here not only on youtube because we've done some daniel on uh, larusso and samantha larusso uh reviews and the blue power ranger um remastered figure we've been doing those um but uh i'm kind of on a power rangers kick I've, I've, I've picked up a yellow ninja and a blue ninja ranger off of um off of makari uh, which I got back on there and found some really good prices. So, um, so I'll have like a red, I mean a blue and a yellow to go with all of the rest of my Cobra Kai uh, ninjas just to sort of have them. But um, anyway, I say all that to say this. I went into my local Walmart um, yesterday um, uh, that was being renovated and they had some of these older um, Power Rangers figures. So I, pick up, I picked up uh, Adam uh, the Black Ranger who took over for Zach. So I picked him up because he looks to be the exact same style uh, and make and mold of the um, of the remastered series. So I have this. I'm going to keep the package because whenever the um, Black Ranger goes up for pre-order, the remastered version, I'll pick him up and replace him in my collection then sell this guy. Um, but he's he's really cool. He's been fun to pose. If you've checked us out over at Instagram.com Saturday Morning Toy Collector, uh, if you haven't done that, Follow that right there and go do so. Uh, I've been posting a lot of pictures of this guy. He's a lot of fun to play with. And these Power Rangers figures are a lot of fun. They're affordable. Although, he, even though he's an older figure, he still ran me $27.99, which was pretty crazy um, for him to be that much. Um, but that's all of my most recent pickups. Like I said, I had another Star Wars figure that you'll, you guys will see tomorrow on the channel. And then a pretty big box of two things that um, will be going up for review on Friday. So stay tuned to the channel for that. Let's get into a little bit of news because there's there's some stuff I want to talk about. Um, let's see here. Let's do this. So we're going to head on over to uh, Toy Arc. And uh, one of the things I want to talk about first is uh, the McFarlane Toys Batmobile first look. Now, a lot of people are complaining that this thing doesn't look like the original superpowers vehicle and that's a good thing um i actually think that that's a good thing I, I have the original batmobile i know a lot of people don't and so yeah it would be great to be able to get that um 
that vehicle, you know, with the lights that pop up and the battering ram and the claw in the back. But I actually kind of dig this. This looks like a, a, a prototype of a Batmobile that we never got before. Um, I think it looks pretty cool and I love the color. I think it's going to go great with the Batwing that we've already gotten. And it's going to make a nice uh, addition to my superpower shelf. But enough about this Batmobile because to me, that's not the most important thing in this photograph. Um, I am going to open up this image in uh, Photoshop because what I really want to talk about are these figures right here. So we're going to zoom all the way in and we're going to take a look because that right there, ladies and gentlemen, that's a new Batman and that's a new Robin. Uh, that Batman looks incredible. This looks to be a great upgraded version of the detective Batman that we got in the, um, in the uh, original uh, Superpowers line. Uh, he looks very much in line with that. So this isn't, you know, like the first Batman we got uh, was from the Hush comic. It was called the Hush Batman. Uh, this one is has been referred to as Detective Batman. And so he looks great. He's got the, the blues and the grays. He's got the yellow oval on the chest. And this Robin is really incredible. He looks like he's got really short hair. Um, he's got a green mask, whereas the original in the, um, uh, in the Superpowers line had a black mask. Uh, but... Uh, but yeah, that is that is a pretty pretty incredible uh, looking Batman and Robin right there, and I am all about it. That thing looks nice. I want both of these. Now, um, at first uh, there was no information about these, but then later McFarland Toys went off to say, yes, the figures will be sold separately. And it looks like um, because last week we saw a uh, sneak preview of Wonder Woman's Invisible Jet from McFarland Toys. Now we see the Batmobile, and now we see Batman and Robin. And these look to no longer be um, uh, Walmart exclusives. This now looks like um, these are going to be uh, online retailers um, everywhere. And it looks like that these will all go up for pre-order. I don't know about the figures, but I knew that the vehicles will go up for pre-order and I'm assuming the figures will too, uh, this Friday, May 5th. So uh, check out, you know, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store. Check out those places because I have a sneaking suspicion that these two are going to go up for pre-order that day. So maybe maybe today, maybe tomorrow, we'll see some more information about these two figures and we'll get some more details. I think that would be, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get back to Safari. And, uh, and so, yeah, that... Um, Man, I gotta tell you, I'm I'm super stoked about about that. Um, let's see here. Another thing that popped up uh, is that we get a better look at the uh, Raphael figure from the last Ronin uh, line of toys from NECA. This figure looks great. We'd already seen um, a picture of Raph and Karai. Uh, we've seen this picture here uh, floating around for a few weeks. And now it looks like we get a better look at Raph. He just looks great. I like the black line, so it looks more um, comic accurate. Uh, I like his armor, the pockets and everything. I like the blood on the figure. He looks great. The only thing I'm kind of worried about are these arrows that are sticking out of him. I'm really hoping that they are removable. I would imagine they would be for packaging purposes, but you've got an arrow that looks like it goes all the way through his leg. Um, I really hope that these are removable uh, and that they come out. Um, because I can imagine, you know, one time, first time your figure falls over on the shelf, these things are snapping off. But I think he looks great. Uh, I love the last Ronin comic, and Raph's one of my favorite. Uh, he is my favorite Ninja Turtle, so uh, I'm really excited for, for this figure. And then that's going to bring us to... Um, to this, so this 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 week we had uh, Hasbro had released um, the wraparound art for the Hiss Tank, um, the HasLab that came out. Um, now um, I did back it. I, I did back the Hiss Tank, and I can't wait to get mine in. Uh, so what uh, what what's going on here is they have released uh, some very cryptic messages via Instagram. Uh, Hasbro has uh, specifically the GI Joe classified team. And um, here, just going to Toy News International. Um, uh, here, I'll just kind of go through here. Here were some of the images they posted. It says, incoming transmission decrypting emergency interim report from Agent Longfellow location. And then we have some X's. 
Um, basically, Operation Hemingway uh, is successful. Detailed schematics for the Project Solar Flare and route. Cats out of the bag, though, cover blown. Stumbled across something else interesting, however. Something big, image attached. Recommendation, ramp up operation. And it has these 12 Xs. Sooner than we thought, more intel to come in transmission. And so what we are looking at here is it looks like two things are happening. One, uh, it looks like the His tank is going to be um, releasing earlier than expected. So that is a bonus. And it looks like they're also teasing an upcoming, a, a second Jejo classified series uh, HasLab, this one being a Joe vehicle to be able to combat um, the His tank. Now, we don't know what that would be. If it would be a vamp, if it would be um, uh, the uh, the buggy, uh, could it be a tank? Um, I don't know. Could it be a helicopter? I don't know. You, uh, I don't know. I'm really kind of hoping for a vamp. I would love a vamp. I think that would be I think that'd be really cool. Uh, so you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think um, the uh, next HasLab G.I. Joe vehicle uh, for the Joes could be. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below because I think this could be uh, pretty interesting. Um, but that's really it. That's kind of like all the news. That's all of my pickups. Uh, oh man, I'm not drinking my coffee. That's what I got going on this week. So. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Please remember to give us a like, comment, subscribe. Um, any of those things just take a few seconds to do, and they mean so much to the channel. Thanks for all the new subscribers. I pretty much get a new subscriber every day, which is unheard of. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know how often um, YouTube updates their subscriber count. I think it's like every 48 hours or something like that. It seems like every day I get one new one new subscriber and I am super appreciative for each and every one of you guys. Um, you mean the world to me. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in and watching. I really appreciate it. Please hit us up over at Instagram.com slash Saturday Morning Toy Collector. This has been the Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark. And remember, I will catch you in the toy aisles. Mm -hmm.